Hi guys, this is Jeff of Slayton's Racing. This video is about how to keep your bike looking good. Uh, I get a lot of comments, have for many years on, on my bikes. A lot of guys say I don't ride them enough because they look brand new, but I ride a lot. You know, I wear out 30 to 40 tires a year. Um, that's front and rear. But I ride, I clean my bike after every ride, and if there's damaged things like bodywork, then I replace it. I like to keep it looking good. I don't like all that dirt on them and grinding into everything and making my new bike look like an old bike. So you can see here, this one's fairly muddy, not by uh, East Coast or Northeast or Northwest standards. You guys have some serious mud in those places. But uh, out here in Colorado, on a muddy day, it's typically we're just riding in slop. You know, it's it's not deep. It's just sloppy conditions, uh, muddy rocks and roots that are very tricky to ride. And uh, over the weekend, I rode up in Taylor Park with a group of guys, and we rode in light rain early in the day. Um, and then last hour, we just got poured on. Um, but it was sloppy all day long. So. This is about as dirty as our bikes get in Colorado, typically. We don't have that foot-deep mud like you guys have in other areas. Um, so it's, it's, it's definitely easier to keep your bike looking good out here. But regardless of where I lived, I would keep my bike looking good all the time. I, I would never, ever work on it when it was like this. And uh, I don't even like, look, you know, keeping it in the garage when it's like this. So... Uh, before I take it into the man cave, I always clean them up, and I'll show you my procedures here. So, all right. So of course I've got a power washer. You can get cheap power washers these days at Home Depot or online. I don't know what this one costs. I'm gonna, I'm thinking it was around 300 bucks or something. It's it's pretty high pressure though. I've had it for a long time. You can see it's pretty faded out and chunky looking, but it still works well. And then over here I have all the other parts and pieces that I used to get the job done. Uh, not all the time, but you know, today since this bike is so dirty, I'm gonna I got a bucket of hot water here with soapy water in it, and then, then a wash mitt. Obviously, you can get those in any automotive place. And I use. Uh, Today I'm using this uh, V. Uh, I'm not using the VP power wash because I found a jug of some previous bike wash stuff that's pink. Uh, recently found that when I was reorganizing things around here, so I'm going to try to use that up. But normally I use this VP power wash. We've got that at SlavensRacing.com, uh, and then I mix that uh, usually about 50/50, you know, with water. And I use this little spray container here. This is for you know, weeds or or spraying uh, insecticides or herb herbicides, that type of stuff. But, you know, you just pump it up. It's nothing great. It was cheap. It gets the job done, but it's kind of a cheesy piece. Uh, anytime that I have any oily or greasy spots on the engine, I use that gunk engine cleaner. And then afterwards, I use the SC1 Maxima. This just puts a high gloss finish on them. It keeps the mud from sticking the next time around. It gives the bike some sheen and moisturizes the plastic. It just keeps everything looking better. I always wear headphones when I'm using the power washer. It's noisy. And then some of these uh, lint-free cloths. Now I'm a huge advocate on, on protecting your ears. Um, I've been using ear protection for many, many years. I don't know, 30, 40 years. I see a lot of workers, um, especially on construction crews, that don't use any. I don't care to be deaf. I'm 69 now, and my hearing's still pretty good. So I would highly recommend that you uh, protect your, your ears. So from here, I'm going to pump this thing up a little. And uh, I'm going to spray the bike down just to get it going good. 
All right, now I've got it all sprayed down with the 50-50 soap solution. And I spray it everywhere. You know, I get it up in there on the engine, on the, all the electronics, on the throttle body, the shock. Uh, everywhere on the bike. I spray everything. And I don't really let it sit. I mean, by the time... It takes a few minutes to spray from one end to the other. By the time I put that sprayer away and get ready for the power washer, then I, you know, it's already it's already done its job and it cleans off the, the grime really well. All right, so now it's time to power wash it. And, uh, And I'll, we'll take it from there. I use the mitt and the bucket of water, soapy water. And I just kind of go over the, the bike to get some of the scum off of it that might be residual. Come around the rims. You can also use a brush for this.
All right, from there, I'm gonna power wash that off, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so after using the, the scrub mitt, I just washed all that soap off. It should be pretty clean now. They can always be cleaner though. Uh, and actually, since this was a really sloppy ride, I'm gonna pull the tank and the seat off and wash it under there again after I get done with this video. I just like to keep everything clean. I'll probably pull out the air filter and put in a, one of those plastic covers so I can blast in there as well. But now I'm going to go to this stuff, and this is uh, what makes it end up looking really nice and shiny. It's this Maxima SC1. I've been using this stuff for many, many years. It works very well. It's not expensive. Got it on our site. I don't see a label on here, but uh, so I don't know. What, oh, yeah, there's a label. Yeah, it doesn't have a price. Anyhow, this is a very good product. So from here, I, I spray down everything pretty much, especially all the plastic. And I try not to get it on the grips. But I spray down the tires. Definitely the, the pipe and the guard. I even spray the seat. These seats have a lot of traction on them. Some guys don't like to do this. I think that makes it slippery, but my pants are kind of grippy and the seat's grippy. And I think there's plenty of grip there. I spray down the engine as well, just to keep the mud from, and dirt from sticking to it. Back tire as well, and the wheel. And, uh, well, you don't need to see me do the whole bike all. So from there, I just uh, let that set for a second. Then I get a rag and start wiping it down. And from there, you'll, you'll get even a little more grime off of it. So I just use one of these, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, no lint cloths. You can get these at Home Depot, at automotive stores, at online, uh, Walmart. I think you know they're they're available all over the place. And I just start wiping the bike down, and it gives a you know leaves a nice sheen on everything. So there's the pipe. And during that wiping down process, you know, you'll get even more, more grime off the bike. Sorry, I'm not doing a good job with the camera here. But uh, I, I still got to continue to wipe down the rest of the bike to really get it up to snuff. But you can see it looks pretty damn good. It doesn't take that long. It's well worth it. I see I mean, guys send me pictures uh, wanting to know how to fix something on their bike, and their bike is absolutely disgusting. I don't work on bikes like that. I can't stand it. You end up fighting the dirt the whole time. The dirt gets into everything you're working on, and I don't see the point of doing that. Uh, if you can't afford a power washer or don't have a place to put one or whatever the deal is, uh, you can definitely go to the uh, car wash and for, I don't know, eight or ten bucks, you can get your bike looking good. Uh, then the final step uh, in, the, in the wash part is I'll, I'll go, when I get it in the shop, I'll I'll lubricate the chain and I forgot to tell you uh, before I started putting this uh, SC1 spray on here I ran the bike up and down the street and I do that to kind of just get the water out of the chain and the brakes and the sp uh, spokes and wherever else it wants to shake out of uh, but I don't dry the bike I don't want the bike dry I put I put that spray on there when it's still wet let's see maybe you can see here there's still raindrops on here water drops but I do it uh, I don't wait for the bike to dry and I recommend that you don't wait for the bike to dry just spray all that on there while the bike is still wet and, uh, I don't know I'm sure I'm missing something here I always do but uh, hopefully this gives you a good idea 
on how to keep your bike looking good. I think when your bike looks good, you'll feel better about it. You'll ride better. You know, you, you spend a ton of money on, on this bike. Hopefully it's your pride and joy and you should keep it looking good. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can make them down in the below the video here in the description section. I'm sure everybody's got their own little spin or twist on how to do it. Uh, I know some guys used to like to use a brush, one of those big brushes on the tires and rims and spokes. Uh, factory mechanics quite often use those. And I've got one of those brushes. I hardly ever use it. All right. So after that, guys, then I'll service it for the next ride and be ready to go. I always service my bike uh, the next day after a ride, service it and wash it and go through it because I want it ready. When a buddy calls up, I want to be ready. Or if I get a, a bug up my butt and want to ride, I don't want to have to go out and prep my bike and go through all that. Uh, I want it all ready to go. So, guys, I hope this helps you out a little bit. I've had lots of questions about this. It seems kind of stupid to make a video about washing a bike, but I've had lots of questions on it over the years. We get, we still get lots of questions on it, on why my bikes always look so good. And uh, so here it is. Uh, please like us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, give us a shout out when you can. Throw us a bone once in a while. Um, Tell your friends about us. We, we try our best to do a great job. And if we're not doing a great job, let me know. And uh, help out with your trails with you, when you can. Um, go out and do trail maintenance. Um, participate in trail maintenance days. Uh, be an advocate for our sport by stopping and talking to other trail users and letting them pass you when they've got a dog or a horse or little kids or whatever the situation may be. Just... Be polite. And uh, that's all for now.